I'm Greg Jamian, and welcome to Home Health Care Corner. As more people receive their medical services and care at home, there are many questions that pop up that sometimes require quick answers. I have put together a series of short segments with healthcare professionals that will help explain how things work along with answers to common questions found in home-based care. I hope you find the following information helpful. Hi, my name is Janet. I'm a registered nurse for Mayor Staff Home Health Care, and I'm here with Erin today. Hi, Erin. Hi. Hi. We're going to talk a little bit today about low blood pressure. Um, I know in the news you hear a lot about high blood pressure or hypertension. Um, a lot of times people don't talk about low blood pressure, but it's a pretty common thing out there um, nowadays. I'm actually not familiar with low blood pressure. You hear about a lot about the high blood pressure, like you said, but what are the differences? Well, low blood pressure, American Heart Association says anything over under 90 over 40 consistently, just not one time of it being low, mm -hmm. um, but if you're consistently below that number, 90 over 40 is considered low blood pressure. Some people that are athletes that do a lot of exercising and stuff like that can consistently be low, um, but it really becomes when you start having symptoms. Okay, and um, what are the main symptoms? Dizziness, Okay. you know, um, feeling shaky, um, it can be um, you can even pass out, loss of consciousness, fainting, because you don't have enough blood flow mm -hmm. pumping around your body to mm -hmm. supply your heart, your lungs, your head, all of those vital organs. So low blood pressure can be just as severe as high blood pressure if, it, if you're not getting enough blood to the tissues that need to go there. Okay. So. so that would be especially for an athlete who is, you know, might be pushing it, not knowing that they have low blood pressure and then having dizziness and things like that, that's how yeah, they might. If they're having those symptoms, mm -hmm. sometimes with uh, athlete, it could be just dehydration. Mm -hmm. It could be the cause of it. Maybe they're not getting enough fluids, electrolytes, enough volume to push that, you know, around in their symptoms, uh, or in their system. I'm sorry. Um, but some of that's some of the simple cures of low blood pressure. But it could be because their heart valve is not, um, or their heart's not contracting. Mm -hmm strong enough or a valve problem where the valve's not shutting all the way mm -hmm. so it's not allowing that strong contraction of the heart to force that um, blood around your body mm -hmm. so those are some of the things that they would rule out if you have low blood pressure um, it could be a medicine like a lot of the elderly are on diuretics which help them lose the fluid mm -hmm. um, and but then that can cause low blood pressure and then they get the symptoms when they go to stand up um, they get dizzy and feel faint and could pass out. That is actually called orthostatic hypotension and that means because when you change position, if you go from laying to sitting mm -hmm. or sitting to standing and your blood pressure drops, mm -hmm. that's called orthostatic and that's usually, most of the time, that's because you don't have enough fluid or volume mm -hmm. um, and that could be caused from a lot of different things. Sometimes if you're pregnant you know, and the ba the baby's getting all the fluid mm -hmm. that causes it, or being on too much of a diuretic mm -hmm. or for your blood pressure. So if you're having this, those symptoms, um, blurred vision, nausea, dizziness when you're standing, the best thing to do is get a blood pressure cuff, mm -hmm. um, like we talked about before in our se in our other segments about mm -hmm. high blood pressure. Use a blood pressure cuff, monitor your blood pressure, talk to your physician, of course. Right. Um, take it at different times of the day so you see what you're actually is going on. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're having any of those symptoms, talk to your doctor to see if there's an underlying cause of why you're having the low blood pressure. Okay. And can you remind me again what is a normal blood pressure versus low blood pressure? A normal blood pressure, they say, is like 120 over 70 okay. type of thing. Anything above 140 over 90 is considered high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. So um, you want to make sure that you're in that range. Okay. Um, and if you're taking blood pressure medication, maybe they just need to adjust that medication. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's 
too low right. or maybe you've started exercising or changed some change lifestyles um, yeah mm -hmm. and now it's coming down and which is a good thing mm -hmm. <laughs> but now you're a little bit too low right right so, so it's just kind of uh, figuring out where the balance is some people doing. need to wear um, like if they're on their heart isn't functioning quite as well as they used to if they have what we call heart failure, mm -hmm. their heart's um, not pumping as strong enough, they can wear like compression stockings to help push that fluid back up or the blood flow back up. Mm -hmm. That will help the blood pressure okay. so they don't have that low blood pressure. Um, and depend, some people, they make them eat a lot of salt. <laughs> I know that you're always saying low sodium, low right, sodium, right. but that's with high blood pressure. Okay. Um, you want to watch the salt intake. Right. Someone that if it's depending on the reason your doctor might tell you to eat more salt because the salt will make you hold on to that fluid, fluid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of tricky because you hear all these things on the news about high blood pressure right. but low blood pressure we have a lot of elderly people that have low blood pressure and especially orthostatic blood pressure changes when they go from sitting to standing so you got to just make sure you're monitoring it talk to your physician especially if you're having any of those symptoms blurred vision nausea mm -hmm. dizziness when you go to stand up feel like you're going to pass out always check your blood pressure okay and is there anything you can do to kind of um, just make sure that you're within range of you know if you do have low blood pressure any exercises diet anything well, exercise always helps because that's going to help your heart muscle mm -hmm. um, be more efficient. Mm -hmm. And that's why sometimes athletes, they are very efficient and so they consistently are low and it's normal for them. But as long as they're not having any of the symptoms, mm -hmm. you know, it's when you start having those symptoms that you start worrying. Athletes usually have lower heart rate and lower blood pressure because their heart is so efficient. It's a well-oiled machine working mm -hmm. well. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but for people that have low blood pressure that aren't athletes, um, like I said, you got to watch maybe more salt, wear the compression stockings to help the blood flow, um, check your medicines, maybe you're on too much of medicines, um, and eat right, mm -hmm. exercise will help. No. So that's interesting with the compression stockings. Um, I always thought that was for older people to wear, so I do see younger people wearing them. Now, how, how would those help? That helps because it, the compression on your, your veins and your leg helps mm -hmm. push the blood flow back up to your heart. Okay. Um, and so if you have the compression sta stockings, that increases the elasticity and it helps move that fluid back to your heart okay. better. So that's why the compression stockings work. And you see a lot of pregnant women wearing compression stockings too. Right, because okay. that helps with the blood flow. Okay. Yeah. So if you have any further questions about low blood pressure, you can call us at Ameristaff, 248-288-2270.